Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Can You Beat Kenchi with only one Ivor. Now, today my friends, we are going to go after the uh, very first intentional boss of this playthrough, and I say that because last episode we have uh, scratched Tora the Fearless out of the list, but it was uh, mostly by accident, but uh, yeah. As I alluded last episode, today we are going to go after the uh, intro boss, some call him the uh, warm-up boss, others call him the Dust King. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, usually the very first uh, boss that most people go after. I think it's a good way for us to test our uh, skills against, uh, you know... Um, Something, something a little bit more qualified. I already take, uh, took care of our uh, traveling backpack, we have everything that we need. Uh, so um, I think we are going to dedicate this episode to uh, that. Uh, now I don't really remember where they are, I think they are somewhere around here. I think it's like this thing over here. But uh, we'll just do a little bit of scouting. For now we need to start moving towards that general direction. We discover the uh, unknown tower over here. Maybe that's what we are looking for. Let's see. Well, well, well. Looks like we are in luck. Uh, we have found the uh, dust bandit encampment. Now it's it says over there unknown tower. Uh, I know it's the uh, dust bandit encampment. Let's just uh, sneak around a little bit, see what um, this place has to offer. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty certain this is our final destination. Uh, now, this, this door is probably locked, nothing that uh, Mr. McDolphin cannot take care of, even though it's uh, still broad daylight, pretty certain they won't see us. Um, let's see, anyone in the walls? Not right now. We're on this side, not really. There is only like two of them over here. He's the Dust King himself. Right there, exposed to the world, oh my. Well, this might end sooner than anticipated, my friends. Because uh, um, what a golden opportunity that we have found. It's like uh, the gods of Kenshi really want the Dust King to be uh, murderized. Doo -doo -doo. I am a sneaky ninja. McDolphin is here for you. Surprise, motherfucker. You just got McDolphined. No shot. Oh my god. This is the sneakiest thing. Oh my god, my friends. This episode uh, it will be only five minutes today. Because I had the plan. I Like, I was gonna set up camp. And uh, I was gonna kidnap the uh, Dust Bandits one by one. And then, in the end, the Dust King would be the final... But no, no, no. Well, um, this is um, pretty interesting. We just kidnapped the Dust King right under their noses. They, uh, in broad daylight, they did not notice what the hell just happened. And um, yeah, let's uh, undress the King and beat his ass. Because uh, even though, uh, you know, we are going to uh, deliver him for his bounty because the money is really... Uh, uh, really useful uh, like we need to beat him first right because uh, that's the title of the playthrough and would you look at that worth a ton of cash I brought so many supplies completely unneeded oh my god look at this so much money that we can sell like this and this the rest uh, we don't care but, uh, yeah you are gonna get uh, slightly undressed I mean I I'm gonna try and keep most of it if I can Wakey, wakey, rise and shaky king. You are about to get a royal kicking in the butt. Uh, did we get him? No, you are butt naked in the middle of the desert with an ivor right next to you. You are going to try and escape. But you're not. You are gonna get targeted and McDolphined. Now, probably this is going to be the real challenge, that Mc the first real challenge that McDolphin faces in a 1v1. Uh, but, uh, oh my god, even the king. No way. Come on, we need something a little bit better. Come on. You can perform a little bit better, can you not? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. 
We ain't done fighting yet. Come on, King. There we go. Ah, oh, fantastic. I feel much more satisfied now, my friends. The king is dead. Well, unconscious, but uh, you know what I mean. Time to collect ourselves a big bounty. Because, uh, oh boy, we still need to run like hell. Uh, we need to deliver uh, the king all the way to Squin. Perhaps we should heal him so he doesn't die on our way there. It's time to get a payday. McDuffin comes with a big prize on his shoulder. A 35k prize. You there. Yeah, sir. Bag check. You may pass. Do you want to check uh, my bag uh, that I carry on my shoulder? Hmm? You want to do a, a cavity search just to make sure I'm not carrying anything illegal? Are you sure, guard? Alright. What a bummer. <sighs> Yeah, I was hoping we could give uh, the Dust King the good old uh, probing, but no, 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 no. There we go, and over the bounty, 35k, and look at that, we have 55k to go and splurge on good stuff for McDolphin. Let's get some good armor equipment uh, from here. Let's see, let's see what kind of armors do they have available for us. Uh, if they have a uh, specialist grade armor, that would be nice, but no, no specialist uh, grade armor. I do know where we could get uh, some good stuff, however. Uh, well, first, uh, let's just sell this. 1k, 1.5k, 700, 3.1k, and 300, and 300. There we go, we just got ourselves a bunch of cash. And we don't care about that, and uh, well, since we need to uh, spend a bunch of cash on good stuff, I mean, we have nothing better to do. We could go to Black Desert City, and uh, in the scrap house, we will find all these specialist grade gear that we are looking for. I'm just afraid that we don't have enough money to buy it. Uh, so, uh, might be useless to go all the way there. But at the same time, through the power of editing, I can just right-click right there. And uh, you guys will uh, waste no time whatsoever. So uh, I suppose I will see you guys when I reach Black Desert City. And welcome back everybody to Black Desert City. It wasn't that long of a ride anyway, so uh, we are here. Now, let's go towards the scrap house. Where is the scrap house? Right there. In there we should be able to find uh, some high quality armor. Although uh, I doubt it that we will find uh, either specific armor, only the outer layer, not the inner layer of armor. Uh, for that we'll probably need to go towards the ivers. That's fine. As long as we can find some specialist grade uh, stuff, I'll be happy. Uh, now, I am looking for a specific set of armor that uh, increases your uh, martial arts skills and melee uh, damage and whatnot. Uh, so... Hmm? Oh, I'm sneaking. Sorry, I didn't meant to sneak. I was not trying uh, to uh, pull any punches. Now, let's see. Uh, weapons, 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 weapons... Weapons, 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 there we go, it is the set, the uh, armor the rag uh, stuff, as you can see, martial arts plus four, but do you have the complete set? You do not, uh, and that is a bad, that is really bad, but um, yeah, we can take this one already, take it off your back, we, uh, we only need the outer layer next, the outer layer is the one with all the benefits, uh, so... Uh, yeah, this one, uh, however, has zero uh, downsides, so um, we can, like, equip it right now. It's not gonna affect our sneak, which is nice. Uh, now, we are gonna have uh, multiple sets of armor, at least two or three of them. One for sneaking and uh, another one for combat. Uh, the sneaking one will be this one, because of the stealth eff effect, and, uh, you know... The combat one will be the other one. Now let's see if uh, there is anyone else uh, willing to trade with us uh, on this city that might have uh, what we are looking for. I know we can buy um, prosthetics, but I do not know if there is an, any other armor um, armorers around. I think not. 
There is a large storage, an armory, and a robotic shop, and a skeleton uh, shop. Man, we could try like the two shops available, but uh, if not, we'll have to just uh, linger around for a little while uh, until the other dude restocks his uh, inventory, and maybe uh, then, yeah, nothing. And maybe then we'll um, get the uh, the armor, or we can just try and see if they have it over here. You know, it is private, but uh, the door is open, so. Now, there is no uh, armor to be found in here, but uh, when it comes to robotics, we have the industrial lifter arm left, which I think... Yeah, it's what we need, and uh, it is probably the best uh, we are gonna be able to find, uh, like, forever. There is also, like, this one, the KLR series, uh, gives plus 4, but only gives 10% uh, strength and 10% dexterity. I think that 20% strength is better because the dexterity, I don't think, affects us. I think dexterity is for uh, other uh, things. Uh, attacks... Uh, 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 yeah... Mm. Speed and quality of sword, sword work. I don't really know if uh, sword work includes martial arts or not. I don't think it affects us, but um, yeah, I think that going all in on strength probably for the best. Well, it's gonna set us back like half of our cash, but uh, hopefully we'll still have enough money uh, left uh, to buy the other set of uh, armor. Uh, besides, we'll get a little bit of a refund, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy this one. I'm gonna sell this one, we got a little bit of a refund, then this one goes into our limbs, come on. You, you get out of here. There we go. We now have more strength, which means even more damage in melee combat. Fantastic. Now, let's see if the um, robots have something interesting uh, over here. Um, they have uh, empty, 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 not empty. And not empty. There is, however, a bunch of dudes over here. And they're probably gonna spot us. I would say. Uh, nothing good over there. Uh, we don't want any of this. Let's get out of here. Uh, maybe let's go upstairs. Is there anyone over here? No? Oh well. Don't mind if I do then. Nothing over here? Ooh, that's locked. I like locked stuff. Oh, there is a dude over there. Huh. I mean... He hasn't said anything yet, so... Oh boy. This might be inter This might get interesting soon. Um, let's try to lockpick that. We'll get to do this coming. This gives us an opportunity to come over here. And lockpick that one instead. I mean, we are thieves, right? I don't care too much about uh, these dudes. Uh, this is worth a bunch of money. Uh, we might get discovered, however. Uh, so, um... Hmm. Do I really want to do this? Alarm raised. Well. You only live once. Once, right? Come on. Now that we have done this, I'm gonna take it for everything that I can, bro. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna take it for everything that I can. Uh, they are not gonna let me have it now. Will they? Uh, not that, because that weighs a, a bunch. Uh, now they'll probably... Let's see. I'll deal with you, Thief. If you cannot see me... Run, 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 run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Goodbye. It was a, a pleasure meeting you. Don't think the other robots will be upset with me. Um... Oops, maybe they will. Uh, this might have not been the smartest of decisions. Uh, hopefully they will forget. We'll see. Let's uh, just try to uh, run away before they uh, murder me. They are still running after me, even though they can't see me. Uh, but uh, he got away. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Uh, 
uh, yeah, I think they are gonna leave me be. Uh, in a few hours, I'll probably, like, uh, be okay. Uh, as long as, you know... As long as I can come back in here to buy more loot, to buy more gear, that's nice. Uh, besides, we just got away with, a, like, a pretty significant haul of uh, supplies that uh, are gonna serve us for a very long time. Remember, we do need this uh, to repair ourselves. Uh, so, uh, yeah, suppose we can find the other uh, bit of armor somewhere else. Okay, uh, let's go back. I suppose uh, we could stop by on this way station to uh, sell our heal gotten gains. Now, I do admit I'm a bit concerned, my friends, because it's... What? Something is... Um... Seeing me? Where? Where are these dudes? Ah, uh, dust bandits, who cares? Uh, now, I am a bit upset, uh, not upset, uh, worried, because it says over there <laughs> that I'm wanted uh, by the Shack Kingdom uh, for a bounty of zero. That's a bit strange, but well. Um, let's just sell all of the uh, stuff that we don't want, like the CPU, the robot eye and whatnot. Um, and um, then we could try and go towards the Ivor village, see if they have any good gear there. Uh, Ivor specific gear, that is. Let's see. Um, that is gonna net us 1.5, that's not bad. Huh? Fencing, why, why, why it's, uh, these guys, uh, they, uh, they don't want? They don't want, uh, to buy this? Really? Okay, like, uh, the dudes at the hub, they, they don't care, so, um, uh, sure, buy. That's, uh, a bit strange. Okay. I mean, the Ivers ca can also, uh, buy this from us. Pretty certain they don't mind. Okay, I'm pretty certain these dudes don't have a problem buying, uh... Looted stuff? Let's see. Stolen goods, no problem. Oh, there we go. Someone that understands. Uh, now, this I'm not gonna sell for obvious reasons. Uh, this is very valuable and expensive. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, you can keep the other thing is now uh, we'll store this back at home. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Up next, Ivor Village. Okay. I forgot about this uh, little detail. Ives don't like to trade with uh, Iveless. Ives. Ivers. Dudes. Yeah. Uh, that kind of sucks. Where can I find Ive gear? Maybe the swamps would be the. Uh, the best next spot. Besides, we need to go to the swamps anyway. Uh, to get maybe a hold of the uh, Red Saber or whatever these guy those guys are called. Uh, leader. I don't know if the, the that one is on the list or not, but... Uh, I, I, like, I didn't want to spend the entire episode just shopping, so... Uh, yeah, let's stop by screen again, see if they have restocked with good stuff. If not, we, uh, maybe we'll just go and uh, ruin the day of the rest of the uh, bandits inside of the Dusking Tower. Because, uh, uh, you know, we still need to train a little bit, and those guys are just there, waiting to be uh, McDolphins, so why not? Please tell me that uh, today you guys actually have something nice for us. Or uh, has they not cycled yet? Man, only prototype and shooty grade. Not even standard. Huh. Oh well. Uh... But uh, yeah, as we can see, uh, it gives plus for uh, martial arts. Although it doesn't give any more uh, buffs than that. Uh, I, I was under the impression it would give a little bit more. But hey, if that is gonna be the case, then uh, well, we can just proceed with uh, like the things that we have right now. Um, yeah, okay. <clears throat> if that's it, um, let's just uh, stop by over here. Buy a big backpack. Because, uh, you know, the dust tower is full of loot that we have yet to be bring back. Uh, fill that big backpack with a bunch of loot from the dust tower and call it a day. I think that's a, that's a good episode, so uh, yeah, let's do that. Please tell me that you have a big backpack. Okay, please tell me that you do have a big backpack. Come on. They have. There we go. Perfect. Um... 
Now obviously we are not going to be wearing this because this gives a bunch of debuffs. However, whenever the time comes that we no longer need to fight, look at the amount of space that we can uh, have. Now we cannot put that bag inside of that because that, you know, uh, it's not a legal maneuver. Uh, but uh, yeah, with that we can bring a bunch of loot back, sell it and uh, make a little bit more profit. Uh, so uh, yeah, suppose I will see you guys back whenever we reach the Dust King Tower. Here we are, next to the uh, Dust King Tower, uh, ready to uh, start a little bit more of uh, our training. Uh, we're gonna use them as target practice. Now we have uh, seen these countless times where we just sneak around, knock them unconscious, uh, kidnap them, take their gear and beat them up. I think we can just speed through this, my friends. Oh, we are being spotted, would you look at that? They can actually see the manners. They, <laughs> they are prepared this time. They say, no, no, no. We ain't having none of it. That's fine. Uh, daytime is almost uh, up anyway. We can wait and then go through the night. But yeah, in any case, my friends, I think I'm just gonna beat them up, most of them. And then uh, whenever we come back, there shouldn't be too many dust bandits remaining. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but it, it is fine. It is totally fine. McDolphin has nothing but time. So, as we were doing our training, an opportunity just presented itself. As you can see, there is a trail of uh, unconscious uh, dust bandits. I just uh, disarmed them and I think it is a good time to do a little bit of brawling. I did not remove their um, armor, only that one because, uh, you know, I by mistake, it was not my, uh, my intention. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, maybe do a little bit of... Every single time! Every single time I go through the effort of disarming all of these guys and then another group just happened to show up to ruin all the fun. Oh well, it is totally fine, my friends, but um, you know, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a combat, you know. Uh, McDolphin has been doing some uh, progress. Like, uh, get rid of this guy. He has a uh, edged weapon. He needs to go, like, right now. We can deal with uh, whoever remains afterwards. I mean, it's gonna be a pretty nice brawl, so uh, why not? Let's just start brawling with uh, whoever does... Oh my god, that was a one-punch. Jesus. <laughs> we are getting stronger by the second, my friends. Ah, what a nice brawl, look at that, so many enemies, we can just keep punching and uh, kicking and uh, ripping arms off, holy Jesus, we are a limb removal machine at this point, my friends. So nice, it is just a shame that our martial arts uh, skills, like, it's gonna really take its sweet time getting up, especially because of the way that we uh, need to play, uh, because we are alone, we need to kind of uh, just go for 1v1s and stuff like that. Hey, you do not get to have a weapon. That's illegal, under our uh, rules of honor that we have right now, that I just came up with. Uh, so, uh, yeah, still at Martial Arts 21, but um, eh, a little bit of training is always nice. There is so much carnage. Look at this guy, he's trying to drag his friend away. He's like, I'm not gonna let you die in here. And then it just gets murderized. Uh, what are you doing? Attacking enemies. There is more enemies to attack? Uh, probably some of the guys that we have uh, been knocking out as uh, woken up or something. Oh, you're attacking those enemies. Maybe not. Uh, don't attack those enemies. Maybe not those. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, like our little spot over here. Hey, most of the blood has gone away. That's bad. I had, uh, like, it's not, it was not as bad as this, but it was pretty nice as well. Oh well. Uh, let's see, did we gain any XP out of that? Oh, minute. Jesus, not so much. I, I'm starting to think this is an uh, hopeless attempt. Uh, we just need to throw ourselves into uh, dust bandit groups and uh, not even remove their weapons or anything. Just go out there and uh, fight them... Um, the way they are. Now, of course, we're not gonna do that over here, uh, because that would be suicide. They have uh, crossbows and stuff like that. No, 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 no. Uh, I think I'm just gonna sneak in the, at night, um, whenever the night comes, and uh, we're gonna steal their stuff and uh, just uh, leave after that. 
Alright my friends, it is night time. Out of an abundance of safety I've just uh, knocked them all out and uh, removed their weapons, you know, uh, just because. Uh, let's see, anything worth uh, us taking? Uh, that's worth some money that we could use to sell. Specialist uh, took toothpick uh, for 2.5k, you know what, I'm gonna take that as well. Probably should be using this bag instead, uh, you know, for my... Uh, for the loot, uh, in there, what do we have? We need to kind of be... Oh, nice. Some medicine. We need to kind of be fast with uh, our uh, looting, because uh, they're not going to stay unconscious forever. Uh, so, uh, no, we don't want that. That's worth uh, some money. Uh, nothing in there, nothing in there. Okay, bottom uh, floor is uh, searched. Uh, we'll have to go over here and... Uh, Oh wow, our stealth really gets injured uh, by this thing. Oh boy. Uh, let's just double check over here, nothing in there. Oh really? One cup, that's nice. Okay, let's uh, open that. Steal as much as we can. When they wake up, maybe we'll just uh, drop this back somewhere. Oh nice, this is empty however. Take all of that, take that, take that, take that. And that's a bunch of space. I mean, we can take that. Why not? In here, there is nothing. In there, there is nothing. And in there, there is nothing. In there, there is more uh, goodies. It's worth nothing, so we don't care. In here, anything? Oh, tools. We want those. And the medical... No, no, no. The advanced first aid kit. Hello there. I don't know who you are, but uh, I'm not gonna release you. Because I don't want you to join us, uh, but I'm gonna leave like this in a way that you can uh, you can like uh, release yourself from prison and uh, then uh, you know go on your merry way. And the bandits should not add uh, too much uh, challenge to uh, to you, my friend. Uh, I'm certain. Now let's go uh, down there and beat up some bandits, shall we? Uh, I think I'm gonna do it this way instead think it's uh, a lot less weight, yeah, weightless, much better. Uh, so, save the game and uh, let's start mopping up the floor with these guys. Hello, sirs, today I'm feeling very honorable and I'm gonna fight you. Holy Jesus, did you just saw that? You just jumped at the dude! What the hell? I didn't ever see him do that. Holy Jesus, he did it again! Oh! Why are you doing that? It's because of all the buffs that we do have. Oh, indoor bonus gives us a pretty nice boost to our martial arts. So, uh, look at that. Look at the... Wow! Okay, McDolphin, you are really impressive when you want to. Just keep mopping the floor with those guys. Uh, as long as they don't have their weapons, uh, like, uh, we are fine to, uh, just look, just mop the floor with them. Um, yeah, pretty happy, my friends. I did not know that uh, McDuffin had it in him. He just needs to do it inside of a, uh, confined space, you see, because otherwise in the open he feels a little bit, uh, uh, shy about his, uh, abilities, you see. He's not confident for the uh, outside world to see him uh, fly through the air and land a ma majestic kick on some dust bandits. Um, wow, Jesus. That's a lot of damage coming from McDolphin, my friends. I was gonna time-lapse this, but uh, I believe that commentary is uh, almost um, required for a fight like this. Uh, these dudes, they, like, there is a bunch of these dudes and they are uh, like uh, somewhat tough. They are dust bosses and stuff like that, so their toughness is not, like, uh, super low. Of course, that they are not uh, martial artist experts or anything. They have just been disarmed, uh, so that they are not as dangerous. And uh, would you look at that? Perfect. We gained barely any XP, but it was totally worth it, because uh, we just mopped the floor with this squad of uh, dust bandits. And of course, we are also coming out with a bunch of loot, my friends. So, uh, yeah, I think we have uh, fulfilled our objective for today. We have uh, uh, 
Capture the dust boss. We have destroyed these minions. We even had some fun with some uh, passing by squads. Uh, we barely leveled up uh, any XP on martial arts, but we got to see McDolphin uh, employ some uh, ingenious tactics. So uh, not terrible at all. Let's just make our way towards the hub and uh, sell most of the stuff that we stole and uh, see where we finish the episode when it comes to uh, our money and resources that we have plundered from the dust tower. Welcome to the hub, the place where no one cares if you have stolen goods. Let's go right there. Make sure that, uh, ooh, 11,000, you don't have a lot of money, but uh, as long as we can sell you some of these uh, stolen goods, I am okay. Uh, nothing else over here. Over here, uh, sell that, sell that, sell that. We keep the food for ourselves, we sell that. Uh, the books we don't care, we can sell, and uh, yeah, we can keep everything else to ourselves. Pretty nice. And at the end of the day, my friends, our supply locker is looking pretty well stocked, if you ask me. We have plenty of medical supplies, we have a bunch of repair kits, a lot of food, and um, yeah, even our gear is starting to grow. We now have two backpacks, one for training, another one for carrying loot. Uh, we have some uh, spare gear that we kind of want to keep for now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy where we are, except for our stats when it comes to the martial arts. Uh, so maybe we'll just try to throw ourselves into a uh, arms way and uh, get beaten up by a bunch of uh, dust bandits with uh, swords. Maybe with uh, you know with their weapons in hand that will uh, increase their uh, uh, combat rating and uh, give us more XP for each kill. But all of that is for the future. And besides, we need uh, to worry about uh, getting more. Um, uh, bosses uh, instead of just training we are good in our skills uh, we can always do the McDolphin way and just kidnap the boss and beat him in 1v1 combat but uh, all of that will have to be done in future episodes my friends so with all of that said, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far if you are please consider subscribing and help the channel grow but in the meantime, this is the Biz Manager signing out. Hmm. Bye bye.